Hello everyone and welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays on Thursday the 3rd of November 2022. The deck I'll be using today is the Romance Angels Oracle Cards deck. The focus is on walk. So let's choose a card and see. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. The Romance Angel sent you this card to help you notice the unhealthy or disconcerting parts of your relationship. If you are swept up in a new romance, this card serves as a cautionary warning. Pay attention to your feelings and impressions with regard to your new suitor. Don't allow emotion to blind you to the characteristics or habits that won't work for you in a relationship. A red flag is a sign that something is off. It can include an indication of dishonesty, disrespect, flirtatiousness with others, substance abuse or lack of integrity. While your new love interest may treat you wonderfully well in the beginning of your relationship, it's vital for you to watch how he or she treats others. Someone's basic character is revealed by the way in which he or she talks and acts with restaurant staff, valet parking attendants and other miscellaneous individuals. If you're in an existing relationship, these red flags may signal a need for an honest mutual discussion or couples counselling. This card doesn't necessarily guide you to leave a relationship. Red flags can be markers along the path of healing. The Romance Angels will guide you to take the steps that are healthy for everyone involved, so do follow your intuition. Walk, pay attention to the red flags. Say no more, it's self-explanatory. Have you noticed things or are you that caught up in the moment and the emotions and the emotions and the rapture that you're so blinkered, you're not seeing anything? Follow your gut instinct. That's what it's mentioned here about intuition. Have you walked into a situation or are you about to walk out? Are people giving you advice or perhaps in your interpretation, misinformation? It could be that you know exactly what's going on, but you're that enamored, you think, no. But then perhaps look at past experiences and see what's happened, what's gone wrong and what's gone right. Can you follow your gut instinct? Are you generally right or do you rely on the observations and interventions of others? What's it like to walk with who, where and when? I'll leave a further description and I'll also leave you with a thought of the day. The hardest walk is walking alone, but it's also the walk that makes you the strongest. Walk on. Please hold that thought, leave a comment and take care.